Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Monster Sanctuary. When we last left off, we had just entered this giant frozen water. Well, not just entered. We had just met the ghost lady. <laughs> we entered it like a while ago. Actually, we're leaving it now. I don't know why I said we just entered it when we clearly are now leaving it. But, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Sometimes I wonder where my brain goes. Anyway, so, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm good to... I want those lizard lads, but at the same time, those guys are kind of hard to... Kind of hard to find. Uh, not find, but they're, they're being very stingy with the eggs. Uh, I have to back here anyway, so I might as well, uh, leave for now. Well, maybe I'll get a snail before I go, but I doubt it. Okay, they need wind and water. So we're gonna do this setup. So I can burn them all and then finish them off later. Okay, ignite. Burn the snail. Man, I love how he just puts debuffs on everyone. It's so good. And burn him. I think I'll poison the snail next time. Okay, that's that doesn't do nothing. Fool. You think you can <laughs> shoot me with crystals? It doesn't do nothing. Because I am defensive against that. So uh you suck. Get good. And I'm gonna poison this guy. I don't, I don't know. Oh, did I just poison all three of <laughs> them? Why is he why is that that shouldn't be a thing? I just poisoned all three of them. At once. That's so good. Man, if I could stack poison, I, I, I wouldn't need to even try anymore. I just poison them all like 10 times, and then uh, they just die. It'd be great. Okay, let's buff him up with. Okay, good. I was like, oh, please don't tell me I just did a dumb. And I just put one buff on him. Not that it matters, it's like, uh, what? else am I gonna do with him? It's not exactly my powerful damage character, but he's nice to have around. Okay. Uh, I don't actually know what the what the, uh, wound things do, if I'm honest. That's fine. Now... I guess we'll just do this. Might as well. And then... Finish him off. Easy as pop. Man. Dismantle. And ooh, we did get an egg. So that means we're only missing one character. Uh, one monster type from this area, I believe. So we'll get him when we come back. I don't really want to use the crystal snail. I already have someone who uh, buffs pretty... Where am I going? Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but we basically ha already have a character that... um buffs up people. Alright, I'm gonna go to the beach area, because I can now swim through this. Oh, this also shows all my, where all my monsters are, I guess. Uh, we can now swim through this beach, so let's do it. Uh, I need my fish. I guess I can also check if there's anything down here. Does that look like something you can, like, cut through? Okay. Just wanna check. I always gonna check just in case, but... Yeah, we can now make it past here. There's Crabs! Hello, Crab. Use our weak to fire. That is excellent for me. And we'll do this. Because the bird is weak to wind. I not wind to ground. Weak to wind, clearly not weak to wind. I think it's strong to wind, actually, so I am like the super dumb. And burn. Bam. Next up. Defense buffs up as per huge. Or maybe I want to just put the damage buffs up. I don't really know. Ow. Ow. This guy's armor break a lot, it appears. Now, nah, I'll put safe cast up just to be safe. Uh, as it says in the title. Uh. Yeah, I can worry about. Uh, buffing him up later. Uh, Burr, if he crits once, Burr might finish him off. Oh no, he didn't even need to crit. 
Actually, that's fine though. Don't focus on my here, rude dude. Full of attitude. There's other targets you can aim for. Like the guy in the front who doesn't need to stay alive. Because he's already gotten all his buffs and shields up. I mean, I don't want him to die, but if you aim for him, then I'm not gonna be mad. We, we get such big combos now, of all the buffs I have. I think I have, like, every single buff on my character at this point. It's pretty great. Uh, leave slash, and then we'll finish. We have mm, Which actually has more? This has six, so we'll do this one. Just for that bigger combo, that chance of getting that five star and getting the uh, guy immediate, getting a crab immediately. I mean, I do want to get every monster, but I don't. There's dodos here as well. Uh, sure. Man, this is gonna be a lot of fights just because we're in a new area and I want to try for all the new monsters and whatnot. Uh, we'll go like this because those guys are weak to water and the guy in the middle is weak to fire. So first we'll poison, because I want to get poison on all of them. I should have probably burned first, but it's, we'll burn the crab with him. And then we'll poison the crab later. What is joust? Uh, damage and buffs, I guess? Oh, helping hand gives buffs and... That's interesting. Um... We'll save cast. I'm not really worried. They don't do enough damage to really worry me. Uh, we'll poison the next bird, because the birds actually are more annoying than the crab. Then we'll actually try and kill the birds, because uh, I'm not really worried about the crab right now. I need to kill these birds. Because uh, they heal and give buffs and whatnot. It would appear. Uh, man. Why well, you gotta attack Mike like that? That's so rude. All three of you attacked. Why well, was wrong? Rude dudes, full of attitude. Here. All right, you're gonna die for that, bird. Uh, except this one, because that one uh, will be just killed by Mike. So I want to get some uh, debuffs on him first. Birds hit hard, surprisingly. But I mean, what Mike has a major weakness in the sense that he. Uh, takes damage from um, physical attacks. So if there's a ton of physical attacks, it's quite annoying for him. But since he's literally super effective against basically everything, it's kind of not a big problem. Alright, uh... Is that bird in the back bird? Alright, we'll poison the crab. We should be able to finish the bird off with go, come on, oh, the poison should take, and fire should take it out, even if we didn't crit like ten times. Right. And we could have probably killed the crab if we just would have done a fire move, but it's fine. We can finish him off with our, our wisp. We're not, because our wisp does so little damage, but that's fine. I don't need him to do damage. I just need him to supply buffs. Ooh, a dodo egg. Nice. Actually got one on our first try. Uh, man, I could use it, but I don't really want to use it. I'm pretty happy with my team right now. Uh, I don't think I need... Well, now I don't have to fight any more Dodos, so that should really quicken up the upload. Uh, oh, is this what I need to go fast? I need this to go fast. Oh, and they jump high, too. Well, oh, not that high. Why did I do that? I'm not gonna fight this. I don't need to. I'm just stupid. Uh, okay, so I think I can get to the fire area with him. I'm going to zoom. Oh, what's this? Activate the Um, I gonna guess I can get to the fire area now. Uh, if I ride him. Hey, you again. Now you're at Horizon Beach already. How do you even get here in the first place? Also, don't you know the monsters here are much stronger than the ones from the mountain path or the blue caves? You're gonna need stronger monsters if you're aspiring to have a ghost of a chance of beating the monsters here. You can't just rely on your spectral familiar. That's what really makes a great monster keeper, you know. Uh, you are 
the dumbest sack of baloney I've ever seen. I don't even have my Spectral Familiar in my party because he was so much weaker than my other monsters. I'd love to show you what a team of strong monsters looks like, but I've got some important business to attend to. See, there's an old man by the sea who's looking to hire some experienced monster keepers for a treasure hunt. Of course, you haven't heard about it because you're no you don't even qualify. Come now, Leonard. There's more to a great monster keeper than having strong monsters. For instance, humility and sportsmanship. I like the lion's like, shut up. I like this lion. I'm sure Grimm will be allowed to participate in the treasure hunt as well. I suppose that's true. All right, you may try to follow in my lead, Grimm. Then perhaps you will become a great monster keeper too. That's not really what I meant. Onward, the old man should be just by the seashore. This guy is, I, I don't want to say I could take him in a fight. Because, like, the, uh, these oh. fights, oh, you can just pass through that. Like, the, the bat monster keeper fights are, they are spicy, to say the least. Uh, cool. Mm, I got a mass potion. I, I don't think I ever use a potion just because I'm very, like, monsters are very self-sufficient. Like, I have healers and tank and, uh, shielders and whatnot, I don't really need potions. Uh, fish boys. Uh, what are they weak to? Wind. Um, this. You can go this build if they're weak to wind. That'll be fine. I think I will probably burn the, um, the, uh, what's it called? I'll burn the crab, and then I'll focus on the fish boys after that. Crabs don't really worry me just because they're just raw damage. It's the ones that buff the crabs and heal the crabs that worry me. Okay, that's it. Yeah, no, they do a lot of damage, so maybe I should worry about them more. Uh, but that's fine. I'll just buff anyway. I'm not really worried uh, about him being injured. All right, now we'll focus on voltage. As long as Mike doesn't lose his shield, then it's fine. They can hit uh, the one in the front as much as they want, because if he dies, it's fine. It's pretty nice, actually, not having to worry. Alright. I'm gonna throw offense on Mike. And we can finish off this one. Boom. Can voltage this one. So I think if I would have thunderstorm, we probably could have killed the crab this turn. No, maybe. I don't know. It's possible. We could have killed the crab that turn. Uh, full offense you, even though I'm pretty sure you have. Them. No, you didn't have the damage buff, so that's fine. Uh, let's do this. Come on, crit. One crit. That is terrible. Alright, it should kill us both. And burn. Yeah! Very nice. Uh, ooh, nice. We are getting some luck with the monster eggs. We got a fish boy, I believe. Or we got the crab. Uh, I am not adding the crab to our team either. Because, once again, I'm happy with my team from now. And crab does not interest me. Well, hello there, young keeper. What a pre pleasant surprise. I was just looking out at the ocean and reminiscing about my family history. I can see you're the adventurous type who'd rather just go out there and live your own stories, but stay a while and listen, won't you? There might just be something in it for you, too. Hey there, Grim. Did you come here to take some time off at the beach? Or did you hear about the treasure hunt that's supposed to be happening around here, too? You've heard right. I'm encouraging monster keepers to go look for a treasure cave that I believe is hidden somewhere deep under the sea. First, let me explain a little bit so you know I'm not just making all this up. One of my ancestors actually happened to be a very well-known pirate, infamous, infamous across the oceans of the old world. He lived around 300 years ago, and he was actually a monster keeper. Probably wondering how did he become infamous in the old world even though he was a resident of Monster Sanctuary. Considering the barrier that separates us, the old world from the old world, which only very few keepers are allowed to cross in specific occasions. 
I'm telling you, my ancestor had a ship that allowed him to cross the barrier freely at any time he wished to do so. That, and the fact his whole crew was composed of monsters, made him the terror of the old... Scam... phone calls... Composed of monsters made him the terror of the old world sea. But eventually he passed on. Most of his treasures were never found. He did leave behind some clues for his descendants. Of course, our family has always kept these clues for themselves. But I've decided that I want to see the treasure uncovered before I pass on myself. My own children aren't really interested in it, so now I'm hiring any keepers who have the curiosity and will to find these treasures. Who knows what could be down there in that treasure cave? I do know for sure that there's a memorial ring down there with the ancient words of our family inscribed in it. So ancient, in fact, nobody in the family even knows the darn words anymore. That's all I really care about. Ring me the memorial ring, you can have whatever else you find down there. We're actually looking for sanctuary tokens, one of which could be somewhere at Horizon Beach. If it's rare, or if it has any value at all, you can bet on it that my ancestor took it and hid it down in, that, in his treasure cave. I see. It's probably worth investigating at very least. As I said, my answers are left behind some clues for us. For one, I'm pretty certain about the fact that the treasure cave is somewhere at Horizon Beach. He also left behind an encoded message, which I've only recently managed to fully decode. It says, It takes three to enter the Mall of the Beast. I'm sure that must be the final hint necessary to find the entrance to his treasure cave. Oh, how intriguing. I'm sure we'll find that treasure. We should be able to find one of those sanctuary tokens in any case, at least. Let's get going. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Just runs into the water. By the way, there was another keeper who passed through here just before you arrived. He was quite eager and ready went ahead. Alright, sounds fun. Let's try and find that treasure. Maybe we'll find it before Leonard and Julia. Oh, well, probably. Considering we are the main character and the main... Can I swim? Ooh. Those look like, uh different variations, unless it's just the water, uh, fish, maybe it's just water, can I swim through this, uh, fish not strong enough, maybe I need those fish, uh, I'm not gonna f these guys, but I am going to go see, okay, uh, oh, can't get through there without one look, alrighty, I'm gonna end the episode here, I believe, we'll do the treasure hunt next time, uh, so I have a good title for my episode. <laughs> but uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, please subscribe and leave a like and all that. And I'll see you in the next one uh, when we go looking for some treasure. Alright, bye bye